Hey guys, so last time we left off, we made this triangular geometric stained glass corner panel that you can hang in the corners of your windows and door frames. And I think it looks really good and I wanted to make more of it. So I listed it up for sale and no sale yet so far. But I contacted this local gift shop in Oakland. The owner happens to be good friends of ours and she also loves stained glass and she wants to put this panel up in her shop. So I made two more of these panels and let's head over to the shop and drop these off. So Baymade is an artist-owned gift shop stocked full of incredible work made by local artists and makers all around the Bay Area, which makes them a pretty specialized shop with collections of just local art to support local artists. And they've got amazing ceramics, prints, jewelry, coffees, and candles, and also host varieties of classes like block printing and calligraphy. And as of now, they also have stained glass for sale. All right guys, so yesterday we dropped off the panels and it was all good. We didn't have a chance to put it up though, so there are no pics or footage of it right now. We will be getting that pretty soon, so hopefully it's gonna look really nice in the window right there at the shop. But now I want to let you know how it all works with selling your art at the shop, so let's go over that. So the thing we're doing with the shop is we are doing a consignment deal. And what that means is they will take a percentage of the sale once it is sold. And what we've agreed on is that they will take 25% of the sale. So as of right now, no one has purchased or been paid for anything. I dropped off my panel and they will put it up on display for sale. So that's how consignment works. So if they take 25%, and if the item is selling for $100, then I will get $75 and they will get $25. Now, of course, the shop has to gain something. They have to get something for this sale. You can't just display your item up and then get 100% of that profit. They obviously have the overhead, the lights and bills that they have to pay, anything else just to keep the doors open and to have this physical brick and mortar store as an operation and a business that they have. I think it's a pretty good deal. It's a fair price for us to pay the 25%. So I understand that completely and the 25% goes towards that and that is not a big deal for me. The advantage to doing consignment at a store and a shop like this is that the customers who are normally not on YouTube and not able to discover my work, they'll be able to find my work there at the shop. Overall, I think it's a win-win for everyone as long as somebody purchases the work. Now, instead of doing consignment, you can also do wholesales to them. So instead of pricing things normally like we would at retail price, we would give them a little bit of a discount, a wholesale price, and they would be able to buy, say, in bulk of maybe a few items at a time instead of waiting for that consignment deal where you're just waiting for that item to be sold and then get the cut. So for next time, whenever this panel sells, I will let you know and I will put together a breakdown of the costs and how much I made from this consignment deal. If you are an artist and you have something that you wanna make and sell, maybe check out a local shop and see if they'll do some type of a consignment deal like I'm doing here. And especially if you are in the Bay Area and you wanna put up your work, check out Baymade and see about placing your work there. I know they're always looking for new projects and items, so go check them out. Now, if you wanna know how I made this stained glass corner panel, check out this video right here.